All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back to, yeah, the post-analysis of Take It to the Heart. Um, yeah, part two, post-analysis part two. So as I think about my verses for Take It to the Heart, I think to myself some songs that definitely coincide with songs like Take It to the Heart, definitely songs like uh, To Be Close to People, part two. A song that I released last year, part of the, the Viewpoints part one album. Mainly just the Viewpoints album, but again, you know, because of a, you know, a link malfunction in the first playlist, I had to, you know, do, 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 do the same thing. I had to create another, the Viewpoints, and it was the, the Viewpoints part one with all the same songs, but just a, just a different slash new link, so. That's how that goes. But, um, I definitely have made some songs like that. That's, there's more than just one. I've definitely made other songs, I think, like, Bigger Pictures. I've made Bigger Pictures like that and etc uh, and if not completely like that i made verses in bigger pictures like that because as i said before ladies and gentlemen it's about living up it is about people living up and not every video i'm going to make is definitely you know titled a ministry whatsoever not every video is like not like not every song or not song not every video i'm going to make about this stuff is going to be titled believable faith ministries but i can assure you you can probably tell the difference between a testimony slash ministry and you, you can probably tell the difference between unpopular opinions and all this stuff you can definitely tell the difference but um again just to let everybody know what's 100 with things it's like I say, take it to the heart is like i say it's just a song that's again helping people live up and helping people again truly realize you know again what's truly right from wrong with their hypocrisy their double standards because we live in a world where nobody almost nobody wants to admit to any of that we live in a world already where a lot of people people lack moral character moral dignity and etc God knows what I've been dealing with over, you know, 20 years, and if not 20 years, definitely half my life. God knows what I've been dealing with, and but I think I've been dealing with it more than half my life, honestly. You know, again, stuff like with family issues, and again, I say the family issues part because, again, I do understand that, again, my target audience is the children. My target audience is the kids, who I definitely know are still very much, I want to say in their prime, but if prom is not the right word for it, I definitely know a lot of kids can relate to it. And even some adults from their childhood can relate to it and et cetera. So like I said, this is definitely part of part ways of like a ministry to a certain degree, testimonies and et cetera. So again, you have to be able to decipher and still just get from it whatever, whatever you need to get from it to help you and you're better tomorrow. Because again, this is about your soul at the end of the day. If you don't get anything from my music, one of the top things you should get is this is top five things you should get from my music is this is about your soul at the end of the day this is about your soul and that's one of the top things you're going to get from any gospel type of music this is about your soul at the end of the day this is about right from wrong what are you doing is it in god god's ways is it is it you know is it is it with you following jesus you know you, you know stuff like that and as i said before i can't deny that the Majority of the music I make has everything to do with Christian this Christian that I can't deny that honestly Or I could but then people will be like how can you deny this when it's everything in your lyrics? I don't deny I understand that I don't claim the title of a Christian rapper But I don't deny that my lyrics are heavily Christian Influenced they're heavily Jesus influenced. I'm a very Jesus oriented person And I just definitely again I want to give these testimonies out get these stories out and I want to to again put them out there for the public to again get their perception of it and uh, again hopefully learn build and grow towards the jesus christ salvation better tomorrow for everybody again because again i mean that's again part of the sole purpose of not just what i do but a lot of you know people do within their ministries and etc you want to lead people to jesus you want to um get, get people living right get people living with morals and integrity one of the top things we lack again in today's day and culture is a lot of people don't live with integrity, don't live with morals, and they keep repeating sins of past generations. Are you going to keep, keep repeating sins of past generations, or are you going to do something better that's going to be fresher, cleaner, purer, and it's going to truly make you feel wholesome at the end of the day with plenty of spiritual wealth and discernment and inner peace, etc.? You hopefully get the point with that. So, again, four minutes into this, take it to the heart, as I said before. You're definitely going to be able to hear it within the lyrics. I just want people to be held accountable for their actions. Stop pretending that you're right when you're darn wrong and the evidence proves you're darn wrong. Stop pretending that you're right. You're just embarrassing yourself at the end of the day. I can assure you that's definitely one of the top things you should take in heavy consideration. Not everybody that calls you out on your garbage is a hater or somebody that, you know, whatever else words you want to put there. 
again, God sends people in your life for reasons, and you have to be open to that. God will speak to you through many different people, many different vices, and you have to be willing and willing, ready, and able to adhere to it and, again, constructively use it towards G your Jesus Christ salvation better tomorrow, and etc. Because if you're not, then you're just continuously, you know, putting yourself on a back course, and you're probably going to go in a circle, and it might drive you, God knows, I want to say insane somewhere in your life, you know, to a certain degree. But again, everybody got their own path and their own walk here. But I'm definitely saying you have to be open to learning new things. And again, one of the top things that I'm definitely can tell you in 20 years I'm annoyed with is people trying to tell me that, you know, I don't know how to listen or I don't know how to do this and all like that. And I'm like, how do I not know how to do that when, especially with the listening part, I can literally repeat everything you just said. It's a big difference between listening and actually doing what people tell, tell, tell you to do or taking the advice. So again, especially to the kids, it's discernment that you have to go with. It's um, a fine line that you have to walk and you have to figure out which side of that you want to be on. You have to figure out which side of the story you want to be on and et cetera. You have to figure this stuff out. And I hope that whenever it's Jesus Christ salvation, whenever you figure it out, you figure it out because it definitely will be the difference between, you know, much prosperity and success versus a lot of confusion, conflict, and hatred. So, again, God bless everybody out there, and I really do, again, wish everybody the absolute best. I'm getting, again, back right with Christ while the time is still on the clock to definitely do so. Because every single second, day, minute, moment of your life is another opportunity to do indeed that. And and if not, get back right, if not, get back right with Christ, you know, from being lost, I would definitely say just live the little life with Christ, you know, etc. I guess you could say for the people who already know Christ and etc. You know, I guess the get back right with Christ part is the people who I guess you could say is definitely more directed towards the lost people and you know, living a lit life with Christ is the people who already have found Jesus, know Jesus, and are you know owning it every day with His glory, you know, grace, mercy, and etc. and will on their lives. So again, seven minutes into this, thank you all for listening, watching, and subscribing. Again, you have to have outlets of some sort. It's another thing you have to realize. You have to have outlets of some sort to channel your energy, channel your emotions, channel your frustrations, and etc. So especially to all the kids out there, try to find the utmost God first, uh, most constructive way to channel these things. One of the top things that I definitely want to say, a part of the NJ to the City's mentorship program, which is again all me, is I want to teach kids, teach kids how to definitely channel all this in the best ways they can. Because you know, again, we all we all have tremendous talent and tremendous skill and tremendous you know gateways of opportunities when you put in the right work for them but you need good mentors and if not good mentors you definitely just need good you know you need good work ethic if not good mentors you need good work ethic because you know there's a lot i mean you know yeah you need good you know i mean you need one of those two or both i would definitely say it's good to have both but some people they just they some people again they're already wired good enough you know to where it's like you know I mean, it's it, it's a it's a wide range of things. I can't fully go into it. Honestly, it's a wide wide range of things with how how a lot of us are wired. But um, again, it's like saying because again, we all learn on different levels. We all preach different. We all talk different. So it's so many things when it comes to that that levels of being wired. Honestly, but I can definitely assure you that again, you just need if if not if not if not find good mentors. Definitely have a good work ethic and know what you're about and believe in yourself. And keep on chasing after what you God first need and what you God first want in order to be as God first as successful. So, as you God first can. I mess the successful word up. Sometimes I just mess words up in the middle of talking. But I'm telling you because one of the top things I exist to do is I exist to bridge gaps. I exist to help people in their walk with Christ. I exist to, you know, help give testimonies, give my story, and hopefully we can compare and contrast and learn, build, and grow together. You know, as a proud and honorable family through the body of Christ, which is one of the top things, again, top five things, if not top ten things, you should again, definitely get from me, learn from me, study from me, build with me, and etc. So once again, shout out bless to every youngling out there. Shout out bless to all the young young adults out there. Shout out bless to all the adults. Shout out bless to everybody out there. Take it to the heart. Again, you're just going to hear it in the lyrics, honestly. I don't think I can go into much more detail other than the fact being it's about you have the power of free speech. Please use it wisely, constructively, not biasly, double standard, and then wonder why nobody wants to talk to you. Literally, don't use it for negative and wonder why nobody wants to talk to you 
or use it for negative and then wonder why you keep getting in all this negative trouble left and right with your loved ones or with whoever you get into. Because I'm telling you, we all have the right to free speech and you have to use it constructively and wise, you know. Not towards your, you know, your, your downfall. And a lot of us use it towards our downfall because we just don't know what we're doing. A lot of us are negatively entitled. Again, God knows I have some entitlements at times, but my entitlements are not the same as the next man's, I can assure you that. One of my top entitlements is just the fact being just as right and honest as I treat you, I expect the same. That's literally my number one entitlement. And honestly, is that too much to ask for? I do right by you, you do right by me. Is that too much to ask for? Think to yourself. That's like my number one entitlement that I have and et cetera. You know, and I'm just going to say, if you're going to have some entitlement, I mean, I'm not, because I'm not going to say it's bad to have some type of entitlement. Again, use your own discernment because that's just my opinion. Try to have some good entitlement and or some good God first entitlement that's actually going to make you a better person and, you know, and, and it's actually going to, you know, whenever, and like when everything else has failed, it's going to keep you whole at the end of the day, give you some inner peace at the end of the day about what you're doing. But again, make sure that's the right thing. You know, with your discernment, with your faith in God. And this is why I'm telling you, having a real authentic faith in God. And definitely, I think today is that in today's day and age, more than ever, is really, really important. Because, again, so many false prophets out there and so many people think they're right when they're wrong. One of the top biggest things to, to being a, I'm not even going to say a good leader, but definitely, you know, I'm going to say a good disciple. It's, I don't really know the word to put there, but, um. One of the top things you need to learn is you need to learn how to take good constructive criticism and you need to learn how to listen to, you know, God first, whatever it is that people have to share with you in order to help you in your better tomorrow, help you in your growth. If you're not chasing after the best version of yourself each and every day, you have to ask yourself, what am I living for? I'm not saying, again, at times you're not content and then go back to work whenever that is, because sometimes that definitely is just your walk. You know, but at the same time, again, what are you living for? If you're not living for Jesus Christ's salvation purpose at the end of the day, are you truly living at all? One of the top things you got to ask yourself. If you're, not if you're not living for a true Jesus Christ salvation purpose every day, what are you living for? Ask yourself that. 12 minutes into this, I love y'all. Take care. I, like I said, I can't fully go into I mean, I can probably keep on phrasing it in different, different ways. But again, just live up is part of what Take It to the Heart is saying. Live up. Just live up. Because I'm not going to decipher what you say and pick and choose what I want to take in when it comes to, you know, what I want to take to the heart or not. I'm not going to do that. I want to help hold people accountable. The Bible says clear as daylight. Any fool can just utter any and everything that comes to their mind when it comes. Or you can be a wise man and truly channel your thoughts and make sure that what you're saying, we, whenever you say it, is right. Authentic and real. Which side do you want to be on? Think about it. That's another thing. A lot of people turn, turn blind eyes to. But again, they want to point out this scripture and then that scripture. What about this one condemning you? Not a lot of people want to point out the scriptures that are condemning them. They just want to point out the scriptures that, you know, keep them in their sin. Which is one of the top problems we have in today's day and age. Stop being a hypocrite. If you're going to claim Christianity, you're going to claim Jesus, you live up. If you're not, just stop talking. That's the clean version of what I wanted to say, and you guys probably understand what I wanted to say. It's not a curse word, but we've said it on so many occasions. Um, so forth and so forth. Like I said before, if you're going to preach Christianity, you know, or if you're just going to claim it and claim Jesus, there's a certain way to live, a certain way to act, a certain way to talk. You either live up or stop talking. Stop claiming it. Obviously, you take your steps like everybody else. Not to say it's in the same direction, but you get the point. But again, you either live up, you either live up to what you're preaching, especially if you're, you know, someone that's preaching it, you either live up or stop talking. And don't look at everybody else as they're disrespectful when they're calling you out on your hypocrisy, pride, double standards, and etc. And when I say pride, negative pride in this case. Because it's the negative pride that keeps you in your sin, thinking that you're right when you're wrong. Be open to constructive criticism and keep on trying to gain the most 100 bases with everybody you can that you're around on an everyday godly basis. Take care. I love y'all. Your boy, the man, injured to the city, out. More coming soon. More songs coming soon. More analysis coming soon. Peace. Take care. I love y'all.